Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling, and my guest for this segment is Robert Richard Richard Robinson. Richard Robinson. And <laughs> Richard, and and you'll understand why there is another young man that looks amazingly like you. Yeah, there is. Yeah, <laughs> um, we'll be interviewing in a bit, but you are a teacher and instructor at Fresno Adult School. Right. And what do you teach? I teach computers, and uh, I have taught photography. Have you? Yeah. Okay. Um, in, in the world today, now see, I'm old enough that I span the world pre-computer, uh -huh. you know, when, uh, <laughs> when you didn't have Google and all this amazing stuff that, that we access today. And, and I have a father that's some 20 years older than me. I can remember 10 years ago trying to get him into computers. He says, oh, I'm too old. Well, he's, uh -huh. he's a geek now of sorts, but, you know. <laughs> How did that uh, happen? <laughs> yeah. But, tell, you know, for, for, particularly for people like my age, old, the older, what I'll call the older generation, mm -hmm. what you provide is an amazing tool. Because they don't need to... Tell me about your interaction with older people in, in computers. Well, I, I teach at Fresno Adult School, and I started with the, in the older adult program. I've uh -huh. been, there, been there for 17 years. Well, okay, so you got some time under your belt. Yeah, and uh, I kind of have specific things you would do for a class of that type that you wouldn't necessarily do for another. Do uh, tell. Yeah, because, <laughs> well, they come in. I, I have had students come in and say, I, they know they have to take this class. They know they should learn it, but they really don't want to. I don't want to have to learn how. Is there any reason why I have to have a computer? You know, what's this email stuff and all that sort well, of stuff? Well, I've actually had students tell me, I, I would go to my grave not knowing a computer and I'd be happy enough. There you go. <laughs> so but that's kind of a, that's, and that's the yeah. people coming to my class telling me this. But what happens after, after, is there a point where you see that transition in consciousness where they go from ah to aha? Uh -huh? oh, I had a, uh, I do have that uh, example of that. I have a lady, I have a teach at Fresno Adult School. Uh, we actually are out of Manchester. Okay. And it's at the senior center in Manchester. Right. We're, we're above the Radio Shack. Uh -huh. And uh, I had a lady who was very uncomfortable with computers. She took my basic class. Mm -hmm. I have basic and intermediate. She took basic once and then decided to take it again and again. She actually took it four times in a row. Okay. And then felt comfortable enough to go to my intermediate class. Uh -huh. And when she was in the intermediate class, she was actually helping the guy next to her. Oh, cool. So I stopped her. I said, do you see what you're doing? And she looked at me like she was in trouble. What? What did I do? <laughs> she said, you're helping the guy next to you. You see how, how literate you've become at the computer. And she's, she's like, oh, my gosh, you're right. <laughs> really? That's great. That's got to make you, uh, yeah, I mean, that I, kind of stuff has got to be like, good. Yeah, it's because of me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> felt like that. Uh, tell me about the, the Fresno Adult School itself. Okay. Uh, we've been offering classes for older adults uh, since 98 is when I started. Okay. Uh, that program is no more, so now we go through what's called community ed, which where they have to pay to be in the class. But we offer discounts for anybody 55 and older. Well, I, I might almost qualify. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, just discounts for 55 and older. How do we, how does someone find out what type of classes, what's being offered there? I mean, okay. Where, is there a, a, we have a website. It's a website, okay. FAS.edu, so that's Fresno Adult School. FAS.edu. Right. Okay. And then I'm in the community ed classes, community education, uh -huh. and we have classes for computers that are offered at night, made for people who have to work. work. My classes are offered during the day. Yeah, okay. So my classes are Tuesday and Thursday, uh, ba basic classes 9 to 11, mm -hmm. and the intermediate class is 11.30 to 1.30. Um, and we start next week on the 12th. And you start next the next series of classes. Right. January 12th. Yeah, it is January. 9 to 11 for basic. 9 to 11 for basic. 11.30 to 130 11.30 to 1.30 for, for the intermediate. Right. Okay. Uh, the type of students for, like, your, besides the, the senior adults, what, tell me about the students for your regular uh, a basic class. I mean, it just. Well, it's, it's mostly seniors, but I actually I can take anybody who's a, a high school graduate. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a senior, but seniors get the discount. Okay. Let me ask you this. Um, in the younger range of adults, do you have a, a greater, um, what I'll call it, acceptability to the interaction with the computer and the, oh, yeah. the individual? Yeah, definitely, because yeah, yeah. they kind of grew up with it. I think some of the students I've had that were younger, um, I think we're only taking the class because they knew they should have in school but didn't. Maybe uh -huh. they missed out or maybe they just felt like their skills never got to the point where they 
wanted it to be, so they, they take my class. What about uh, businessmen that, uh, or women, businessmen or women that really don't have computer skills, oh. but maybe their job requires that they, they have some savvy well, for, there? For a while I was teaching in Madera County. I was actually teaching county uh, employees. Really? But they ended that program. So oh, they lasted about two years, yeah. and they, they didn't have the budget anymore. So. Oh, that's, that's a shame because they, they need, you can't really, in the business world, you can't yeah. really get by. And for people, particularly that come from lower income families, a lot of times they don't have access to right. those things at all. That's home. true. Right. You know, so you, and you've got all the all the computers and everything yeah. there. And we're supposed to be over the winter breaks. Uh, supposed to be updated to Windows 10. So okay. I'll, so I'll have the latest thing. My last class was Windows 8. Was it Windows 8? All right. Now, all right. I'm going to ask you. How do you like Windows 10 versus? Uh, it's probably the best Windows they've come up with. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I, I upgraded mine to Windows 10, and you know I'm hunting and picking around, but I, I seem <laughs> Still, to like yeah. it. You, yeah. I may show up one of your classes just to, what about people that have some computer savvy that, uh, you know, like me. Might, might you just go straight into the intermediate class. Go straight into the intermediate, and they yeah. can do that. They don't have to do the basic right. class. Right, they don't. Okay. Um, so it's uh, up to you which one you, want, you think right. you're qualified for. So, okay. Again, the website is fas.edu. FAS and you and click on Community Education. Community ed my, Education, that's where your department will be. Yeah. Now, we one. also have classes that we just started in October 2014 on how to use your smartphone and tablet. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that. You, you know, the smarter than me phones. <laughs> <laughs> right. The first time uh, we offered it, we decided to have iPhone and Android together because a lot of people don't know the difference right. between an operating system like a Windows versus a Mac or an Android versus iPhone. Uh, so we had them all together, and we had 53 people show up. Oh, my. With people waiting at the door to get in Ooh. that we had to turn away. Uh -huh. And one of the comments we got the most was, keep those things separate, Yeah. <laughs> the iPhone and the Android. The thing is, a lot of people have both and don't know it. Really? Like oh, I had, uh, husband and wife or, you well, know, Well, just partners. like if you have, you, I have a, a lady I've helped for years now who has an iPhone, but she has an Amazon Kindle as her e-book e oh. reader, and a Kindle is an Android device. It's an Android device. It's just Amazon put their own stuff on top of it. Oh, okay. So you, so you have to have the, understand the basis of the Android system and the, the iPhone. Yeah, so we, yeah. We, so we've separated those since then. That was the comment we got the most, is keep those things separate. But a lot of people have both. And, I, and they don't know the difference. I had a lady come to me with her, her phone, and she says, can you show me how to do such and such on my iPhone? And I look at her phone, and it says Samsung on it. I said, that's not an iPhone. Oh, oh really? Yeah. She didn't know. They get, like, iPhone is like Kleenex versus tissue. It's iPhone. It's right. all smartphones, and it's not true. Um, your personal opinion. Which operating system do you like better? Um, they both have their good points, but I think I like Android better. Do you? The, the, the one good thing about iPhones is that because you can only get it from Apple, it's very standardized and it can work together better. Mm -hmm. Android is kind of all over the place because lots of different manufacturers can use it. You've got Samsung is the main one, but they also have HTC and LG can use yeah. Android, and that makes it confusing because then they add their own stuff on top oh. of that. And it also makes it confusing because if you get your phone from AT&T or Verizon, they put their own stuff the on top, top of it, and that can make it more confusing. So the Android is more all over the place, whereas the iPhone is like a little more standard, a little more when I give an answer, it applies to everybody. everybody. Okay. Um, anything else you'd like to share at this point? Um, just a story. I have the kind of literacy levels I... It's talking about computer security, which is a really big issue, for, right. especially more and more people have to apply for jobs online, they have to do their banking online, mm -hmm. and, and so on and about security. I was talking about viruses once, and, and the lady came in, it was her first day. I, don't, I won't name names, I don't remember her name anyway, <laughs> which is fine, but she, she at one point interrupted me and said, I have a question. Uh, last night I sneezed on my computer, did I give, <laughs> did I give it a virus? <laughs> and the people around her were chuckling, and I thought she was... I thought she was joking, and then when I looked at her expressions, like she really meant it. So I had to say, no, a computer virus is a, is a program that runs on the computer. It's not right. a biological thing. Real quick, we're going we're gonna to wrap this up. For someone that has, you know, I don't think people today realize that cell phones are also susceptible to viruses. Yes, they are. In you fact, know. I had, had mentioned in the class how to get protection on uh, well, security on your phone. That's it. What's, what's the best source for, for cell phone security? Uh, the one that I see is the most popular is just called Lookout. Uh -huh. And they have both Android and iPhone versions of it. Okay. Well, there you go. Lookout for Lookout. In the meantime, <laughs> Fresno Adult School, right. community 
classes, education. Right. education, and our smartphone tablet class starts in f February 22nd. February 22nd. If you got a smarter than you phone, <laughs> and and you're over 20 years old, I suggest you might want to take this class. You know, I've, like I said before, I've had my phone for over a year, and mm -hmm. just yesterday I learned something that it. I should have known a long time ago. but well, I learned new things, too. All there the time, you go. So. Thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. All right. We'll see you when we come back.